Your case's power supply has several power connectors. The most important one is going to be the main power connector that goes from the power supply to the board. Typically, this connector has 20 pins on it. Now, a server motherboard, or a few of them with a the dual processor, will have 24 pins on this. Obviously, the two aren't compatible. You see it's got a little squeeze tab on there. So you have to squeeze that to release it from the board. And if you look at the board, you'll see there's actually a tab at the very top that that would hook onto. So installing that is just a matter of pushing it down into the power connector and snapping it into place. The other power connectors from the motherboard I've tucked away on the top of this power supply because I'm not going to use them on this particular board, but you might have a use for them. So I'm going to pull them down and show them to you. This connector right here, shaped like a square, it's two pins by two pins. There's two yellow and two black on it. That's a 12 volt power connector. This is used in P4 boards. Um, another power connector that a lot of power supplies have that you may or may not need is this guy right here. This has got 5 volt and 3.3 volt going to it, as well as three grounds. This is for AGP Pro video cards. Uh, because AGP Pro video cards require a little more juice, they give you an extra power connector to supply that juice. If your board doesn't have this connector, don't worry about it. It's not going to keep the power supply from working. Do what I did and just zip tie it up and tuck it away to keep your case looking neat inside. Now your drives hook up with these little four pin deals here. This one is the one you typically see for hard drives and CD-ROM drives. You've got 12 volt, 5 volt, and a couple grounds there. So what I like to do is use power connectors that are close to each other to power drives that are close to each other. And then any power connectors that I don't need, I tuck up above the power supply. There's another kind of drive connector here. And usually a case will only come with one or two of these connectors. This is the one typically used for floppy drives. That's just like the big one that I just showed you in that it's got 12 volt, 5 volt, and a pair of grounds. And really the only primary difference is it's smaller. Now, it's not D-shaped like this one, where it'll only plug in one way because these corners are hacked off. Um, it's just flat. It does have one key, and it has a notch on the bottom. So it should only plug in one way. But I have had a few people plug these in to the back of their floppy drives, one pin off. And then, of course, when that happens, then wires do start to, start to singe.